Alright. What's going on everybody? Camero here and I'm working on my Pokemon game again. Um, I'm pretty tired tonight so maybe this will be short, maybe this will be long, who knows? We'll see how I feel in a bit. But until then, until the stopping point, I'm going to be working on my Pokemon game again. So without further ado, let's get back at it. Um, one thing that I wanted to do was work more on Mount Fuego, potentially. Because if I get one mountain done, that's that's really good. That's really good progress. Maybe I should work on Roy's dialogue some. And I also want to test for a bug real quick, because I was thinking about it today. There might be a bug in Mount Fuego with the way the bridges work. So I need to test that real quick. Cool, I'm at a point where I can test it. But yeah, it should be pretty chill tonight. It's just normally pretty chill also, so let's see. Awesome, the bug isn't occurring. I was just thinking like, what happens if I try to walk up and down during that? And thankfully, it doesn't break. So now if I try to walk to the right here. Yeah, okay, cool. It works. Awesome. So maybe I could write some dialogue. I don't know, though. I don't like writing dialogue for uh, events. I mean, I could try writing it. Um, let me check chat. Coco, Trioxy, what's up? How you guys doing tonight? Welcome. Okay, so pardon me. I'm going to ignore chat for a little bit and go into dialogue mode. So uh, hopefully this isn't too boring, but... Forgive me. Dialogue mode. Insert, show text, he'll, then he'll say, uh, didn't think you would into Mount Fuego. I need to make him more of a dick though, so instead of saying I didn't think you'd make it this far. Not that it matters, though. Please be one step ahead. What a dick. Now, if this is the first fight, he'll say... Um, show text slash B. He'll say, um, I want to test your strength in battle. Then he'll say, let's see what you're made of. Bah. And if this is the second time you're battling him... He'll say... I want to battle... You again. Show text. I'm gonna prove... How much... Stronger, I've gotten. And if it's the third time you're battling him, he'll say, uh, he'll say, this time, I won't lose. Whatever. I don't know. You know, just generic, generic stuff. Hey, Bredonino, Motec Max, and Sansy Boy, how you guys doing? Stay up watching a great stream. Nice, awesome. <laughs> how you guys doing tonight? 
Sorry, I'm not paying too much attention, or I wasn't. Um, I was in dialogue mode. Man, I'm just very tired tonight. I'm just very tired. So I apologize if my tone is a little bit different. This will be a more tired, chill stream, though. Just chilling, you know what I'm saying? Um, the dialogue is very stilted. I'll have to edit it later. And it actually, it's, it'll be impossible to have the fourth battle here, because I'll put the fourth battle yeah, after the uh, thing, but yeah. So I just need to write these three lines of dialogue. So I could actually just copy this. Show text. There you go. Just basic stuff. Let's see chat again. Turtle man, hey, what's up? How you doing? Professor Frankly, how you doing? Mashiro Sakura, what's up? How you doing? How do you get the debug menu? But how do you get it? You have to launch. I don't know what you mean. You say you know, but you were just told the answer. If you press start, if you press green for playtest. What's up, Pokelaird? Welcome. How you doing? If you launch it from RPG Maker and then press F9, that's how you access the debug menu. If you launch it from game.exe, then you won't be able to press F9 and get the debug menu. So the only way to be in debug mode is when you launch it through RPG Maker. So now if I press F9, it won't work. So you have to launch it through RPG Maker. Sorry if I came across as harsh. Like I said before, I'm tired. If 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 somebody wants to trigger me and make me really mad at them, now is the night. <laughs> now is the absolute night. Yeah. So if you want to get wrecked, and uh, yeah, now now is the night if you want to get wrecked. New map. Mount Fuego F6. No, 6F. Yeah, there we go. Got female fishing. Ooh, awesome. Let me uh, let me check that out on Discord. Yeah, let's go and check Discord. Ba, 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 ba. Scroll down. Oh, nice. Awesome. Thank you, Sansy boy. I really appreciate that. Let's throw it over here. Oh no. Wait, where is it? There it is. Yay. Good stuff. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Girl fish. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I think I'll stay on your good side. Okay, awesome. Thank you, you guys. Thank you, thank you very much. Summits. Maybe I'll just make it six floors. I'll make it six floors for now and then add more floors later if I feel like it. So this can be this can be our final floor now. Um Yeah. Second layer. Maybe it should just be a straight shot. I don't know though. That feels kind of lame. I want it to be like one final puzzle. The fifth floor puzzle is really cool though. It's not. It's hardly a puzzle, but maybe I'll do more lava island stuff with little mazes on each one. 
I liked that. But then again, as I'm getting up to the higher floors, it would make sense if there was less lava. But also, my game doesn't have to make sense, so whatever. I can do what I want, per se. So let's do that. Let's do let's do whatever. Who cares? Um. So in that case, what I need to do is make it so that way. It starts off at the bottom because this is where you enter from. Um. So like this. Something like this maybe. And have it just kind of expand upwards into a lava lake. One, two, one, two, three. There we go. There we go. One, two. One, two. Yes. Man. See, I, I almost didn't stream tonight because of how tired I am, but I figured I need to. Um, God, I'm torn. It sucks because I can't really end it early. Well, I mean, I can end it early, but I can't really cut it off now, can I? I mean, I guess I could. I can do whatever I want. Um, at least when it comes to my stream. Not in real life. There's some people that think they can do whatever they want in real life, and that's a real problem. Um, up we go, up we go, over we go, over we go, over we go, yeah, sorry if I'm ignoring chat too much right now, I'm focusing, I'm on focus mode now. So if you have a question for me, I'm sorry. I'm focusing. But then again, I could check chat now. Let's see what people say. Hey, nonfiction, what's up? Hey, Lilith, what's up? How you guys doing? This, this is my dad. Sorry. I don't know where he stands, you boy. That's cool. That's cool. Thunder roll. Ah, I tried to, but it didn't let me. Whatever works for me. Okay. Bring me coffee. Yes, please. Thank you. Let's make this let's make this our final floor kind of a pain. Let's do that. All the floors are kind of painful also, but this one will be extra painful. Because it's the final one, I can justify it being more painful. Nice. Okay. So maybe I should make this a bit bigger then, because if this floor is going to be painful, it needs to be big. Although I don't want it to have too many events. Let's do 80 by 80. Let's move everything down a bit as well. Wait, did I select it all? There we go. I keep hitting Control S instead of Control A, so I just select everything instead. I need to move it down even further. What am I thinking? Because if that's the bottom... Yeah, there we go. That ought to be good. Let me adjust my selection. Copy. Paste, paste, paste. Nice. These need to go to the third layer. Oh, shit! There we go. That's our real third layer magic. Okay, so maybe what I should do is figure out what the intended path is first, and then uh, from there... Um, polish it up a bit. That sounds like a good plan. Hmm. 
No. Na, 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 na. There we go. These are all the wrong layer. There we go. This is fine. Cool. So we can get like uh, our first mini maze and we can have one that goes to the left and one that goes to the right and then have it like split up so there's like a lot of different branching paths potentially. Maybe that'd be cool. That also could be a pain though. Hmm. This one could go... This is tough. I'd have to like map it out. Okay, let's map it out. So path one, I'll do multiple tiles for multiple paths. So path one could be like left to an island. God dang. And then like up, like this could be the intended path. Let's make it so that there's all these islands that are the same size and then we can modify them later. Oh man. Okay, I need to have a little bit less space in between them. And I think I need to make my map bigger as well. Shit. I mean, shoot. I mean, darn. I mean, dang. I mean, uh... Uh... <laughs> That'll be fine. What's the space between them now? I need to make it so the space between them is the same. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. That is not the same. This need can, needs to go over one. And then this needs to go over one as well, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yay! Now they're equidistant or equidistant or whatever you pronounce that. Okay. And then this, when it goes up, it could, they only need to be three away. I don't know why I'm doing another one of these lava island maps. Let me see chat again. What are you guys doing? Is really tired? Yeah, I'm very tired, Sansy boy. Black and white too? Nice. Right, has a... Oh, I know what you're talking about, actually. Um, I was able to fix that, but uh, you have to actually paste it into the... Uh, where is it? Party screen UI? From the black and white 2 thing? Where is it? Is it this right here? Yeah, you have to go in and actually paste the icons in here for like is male and is female. That's around line 461 and 463. It's kind of a pain. But it's the price you pay. Is that five now? One, two, three, four, five. Yay! Yeah. There you go. I think tonight I'm gonna go end the stream early. I don't know when I'm gonna end it, but I'm absolutely gonna end it early. And then I'm gonna go to bed early. I've been staying up a little bit too late also. It's probably, that's absolutely the problem. So I should be able to check myself before I wreck myself instead of after I wreck myself. That's not a good time to check yourself. sucks too because I was feeling it and then when I got home I was like not feeling it I really wanted to stream earlier and then uh, when I got home from work it was like 
now I don't want to do anything. But I need to be productive. I need to I need to do this. Sometimes even if it sounds like I'm forcing myself to do this, I have to do this, you know? I got to I got to make a good game for the game jam. Actually no, I don't have to. It doesn't actually fucking matter in the slightest. But it'll be nice to start something and finish something. I don't want to be a quitter. One, two, three. One, two, three. This map sucks. What am I doing? Maybe it does. Maybe it sucks now, but it'll suck less later. I don't know. See, this is if you take path one. I could make it so that way path one goes like this, but then path two could follow a similar route but be slightly different. Path two could be like, oh, that's the, that's gonna be hard to tell. Path two could be like, I'm using this tile because it's easy to see. It could like maybe double up back or something. I don't know. That'd be hard to figure out a way to do that like well. Yeah, that's gonna be like impossible. It'd have to be like this one goes to a left side of room of the room, and this one goes to the right side of the room. You know, that's what have that's what it would have to be basically. So it filters you, and you can choose your path. I think that's okay. So like left, left, up, right, up, right, and then there's the way out, and then this one could be like right. Right, up, up, left, down, left, up. But then this could be like a little secret where you hit a button somewhere and it'll play like a special symbol saying like a secret path has been opened. Let's see, Kavashir, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, when I got home, I just got tired. I don't know what it is. God dang. Oh yeah, Poke Alert. Yeah, three, I think, if you count this. No, well, there's Title also, but Title's not done. This game's not done either. So if we're counting not done games, then four. And Noir is just a demo. Don't, in terms of complete games, just Paradox. Good question, though, good question. I'm sorry if tonight's stream sucks. It's all my fault. Ah, I feel bad. I feel like I'm not exciting. I'm just a boring guy. When I'm tired. You can't blame me though. Well, you can kind of blame me. Okay, let's have this go like that. And then... Oh wow, we got a whole lot of other stuff we could potentially do in this room. Wow. This is gonna be the final floor for a reason. Because it's a pain in the ass, that's why. I'm going out of my way to intentionally make an annoying floor, just so you guys know. The other floors were decently ergonomic. And when I say that, I mean like, it's not a pain. But this one will be a pain, intentionally. Let's see, let's do, let's do secret like this. Ooh, look at, that's the secret path. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me. Or like, what if you have to go here and hit a switch in the mainland, and then you have to go back? Oh, that'd be too much of a pain though, I pass. What's up, BKB, what's up, how you doing? Talk about topic, yeah, let's talk about something. Cause like, I'm actually at the point now where I, I kinda am just ignoring chat. Sorry guys, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, because it makes me more tired to read a bunch of chat messages going really fast. 
And but thankfully chat's going very slow. My chat in general is decently uh, relaxing to read at times. But right now I'm just like, uh, I feel crappy. Hopefully I don't sound like mean or grumpy or anything. I don't want to turn people away and, and like make them dislike me just because I'm a tired boy today. That would suck. Let's see, let's do this. Let's have this kind of go up, maybe? Have a bridge? Have a little, have a little island? No, if I want to do that, I need to do this. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Followed by something like this. Followed again by something like this. Which is in turn followed by something like this. And this actually needs to go on the third layer, I think. Or, no, just these two. Or these three? No, I'm already on the third layer. What have I been doing? Oh no! Did I put all of that on the third layer? Ah! Oh well. I'll, uh, I'll deal. Because, I mean, I guess in a way that's kind of good for me, because I can just copy this and paste these on the second layer. Yeah, there we go. And then put some of this on the second layer as well. I think that's fine, what I just did. I think it's fine. Because I can, I can go on the first flare and flare on the first layer and paste some of the lava in. Like that. Yeah, I think that's okay. Because we're going to have some more lava. Naturally. This almost seems like a basement, doesn't it? Okay. Cool. So now let's go to the third layer again. I don't know why I put it all on the third layer, but... Uh, we, we, we roll with the punches. What are you? I'm doing okay. I'm tired. I'm very tired. The line the gender thing was on again? Uh, it should be on line 460 and 460, 461 and 463 of the party screen script. Yeah, what are some suggestions? What's going on? Not much. Uh, you know, the, the same old, same old, just working on my dang uh, game jam game. Um... I'm kind of excited for it to be over. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to do that. I'm just saying... I'm very I'm very tired on the regular lately. I think it's because of how I'm staying up, though. Like, maybe, maybe I'll feel better tomorrow if I get, like, a full night's sleep tonight and, uh... Like, go to bed really early and get even, like, bonus, like, extra sleep. Yeah, lately I just I've been feeling like kind of shitty today if I'm being honest. It's 100% my fault though. So, that's that's something. I almost didn't stream tonight, but I figured I've been streaming so much lately I got to keep it up. Imagine how tired I would be if I was working on uh, the Electric Mountain instead. Good gracious. Because I said this is the mountain that I have the most fun with. So imagine if I wasn't having any fun at all. That would be awful. Yeah, lately I haven't been having too much fun working on Pokemon games if I'm being honest. There is, an, uh, there is an idea I want to work on, but I kind of want to just take a break and maybe play some games again. When was the last time I did gameplay on my YouTube channel, Pokemon Exile? That'll be something that I'm, that I'm looking forward to. Maybe not even streaming it, I just want to play games. But then again, it's like my job is testing games, so it kind of sucks. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> 
It's too easy for me to beat up on myself. It's too easy! Up we go. Ah! Up we go again. Up we go some more. Very good stuff. I could have just done the paint thing. Oh well. The, uh, not the paint thing, the, uh, paint bucket. That's what it's called. Yeah, okay, let me check chat again. Hey, how are you guys doing? Aramon, what's up, yo? Mr. Ketchup, yo, how you guys doing? Game critiques after playing game? Yeah, I want to do some critiques. I want to play fan games and critique them. If you have more sleep tomorrow, stream will be great. Yeah, I think so. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> oh, no. Gotta change, quick. That song put me to sleep. Pokemon Surgeons? I'm not, if I'm being honest. Um, is there a big update or something coming out? Because I played it a while back, and I actually didn't like it very much. But that was because I picked the Dark story. Um, I'm excited for a well-made fan game, but my playthrough of Insurgents was riddled by the game crashing because of the following Pokemon. I actually really dislike the follow Pokemon script due to the fact that it causes a lot of games to crash. Uh, mini rant over. Um... But yeah, um, I don't know. It's gonna sound really mean, like really mean, and I don't want it to sound mean, but I don't care at all. Maybe it's just because I'm a tired grump. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a game grump tonight. <laughs> I'm just a grumpy gush, if I uh, tell you, I'll tell you what. It's gonna sound like an old man. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Yeah, another thing I didn't like about Insurgents, I don't want to go on a rant because Insurgents is a very well-made game and they do stuff that I could never hope to do. Um, but another thing I didn't really like about Insurgents was that the, the trainers were walking around. Like, they had line of sight and would still spot you and move to you, but they were walking around in, like, what felt like random move routes. And I, I didn't like that. That's 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 easy enough to fix, but like I'm not gonna fix it because I'm not the one who made the game. But yeah, th those are my feelings. I'm a critical grumpy man. Maybe I'll play Platinum Pokemon Platinum when I'm done with this game. Maybe I'll do a playthrough of that as well as a playthrough of some of the other Relic Castle games, and I'll just critique the crap out of them. I'll just be really grumpy. Let me see what Chaz has to say. My poopy game. Yes. Uh, hell yeah, I wanna. Hell yeah, I wanna. Uh, uh, crit critique it. Hogwash! <laughs> I'm being a game grump. Yeah! A cup of lemonade? Yes, please. Just make sure it's not piss. The last person offered me a cup of lemonade, gave me a cup of piss. I had to spit it out. It was fucking gross. So please, make sure that doesn't happen. I'm kidding. Make sure it does. I'm just kidding again! <laughs> Don't! Do that! That's another thing. Sometimes I get really so t I get it's it's uh, I'm trying to think of words to say. Sometimes it's good th when I'm tired because then I get like loopy. And then I'm funny. <laughs> but sometimes it's not good because then I just want to curl up into a ball and disappear. Um can I put these on the first layer? Actually, I think I can. Let's see. Yes. Put that on the first layer. Put that on the first layer. Let me read chat again. How you guys doing? I'm also cam and a uh, cam cam. I'll do that. It'll be fresh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, second gym for this demo. Okay. 
Yeah, that's that's around a good point. That's where most demos stop. Have you noticed that? That's where um, if I release title, that's where title's gonna stop. But it feels like most games that have demos, maybe I'm just basing that just off of eth ethereal gates or ethereal gates. It's just a weird name for a game as well. But then again, who am I to judge? I'm making a game called Summit Trials. It's not like it's much better. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of games end after the second demo. Okay, let's do this. Let's do more bridge stuff. Some more bridge shenanigans. Because I felt like I didn't have enough bridge shenanigans on the last floor. Bum ba bum ba dum. Bum bum ba dum. Okay, and let's do this. This is this is gonna be a little bit interesting, or maybe a lot of it interesting. Depends on your take. It's all up to uh, personal opinion or whatever. This isn't the right layer to use. No, I'm not gonna do that. It looks like crap, actually. I'm gonna do. This one. There we go. I can actually do this. There we go. Um, and maybe this could just be the way up. I don't know. It feels like a little too straightforward, but what else, you know? What else do you do? What else do you do? Oh, baby! I could have it like wrap around, like you go down and then you go up, 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 oh. But I kind of don't want to do that. It's like kind of, I don't know. Hey, I like, I love that emote. Nice, that's cool, Halo Sith. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll definitely play it. Story or a game with less? That's a good question. It depends on my mood. Most of the time, I like playing games with less story. Though, I just want to play a Pokemon game with less story where you can just train up and you just like blaze through it. I want to make a Pokemon game where that you just like shoot through all the gyms and it's easy. I don't want it to be too hard. I don't like games that are too hard. Maybe it's just because I'm a loser. Let's see. Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland is awesome. I remember the commercials for it. It went to Kirby, not my Aaron Dreamland. Not my Aaron Dreamland. It had like a little song and everything for it. That was weird. Not my Aaron. Not my Aaron Dreamland. Um. Maybe I should do some of this. Bop. Let's see, like, now is where it has to get a little bit wonky, because this has to go on the third layer. So then this has to go on the second layer. So then the first layer has to be some more of this. And then the first layer, I go back to the lava and do some of this. That looks okay. That looks fine. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, fifth gen's the best because the story is the fifth. Does fifth gen have the best story? Let's see. Basically, gonna be I'm gonna go collect Pokemon and beat the gyms. Oh no, Team Rocket. See, that's pretty good. I like that. Keep it, keep it simple. You know, it's a tried and true strategy. The thing is, they did change up the formula a bit in uh, Sun and Moon, but still, it's like. Beat the gyms. Catch the Pokemon. Not too crazy revolutionary, but uh, nobody a nobody's asking you to reinvent the Pokemon wheel with every fan game. I feel like the next fan game I make, if I make one, I mean, I guess when I make one, will be more straightforward. It'll be like, uh, just beat the gyms. Maybe there won't even be a bad team. Just go beat the gyms. There doesn't, have, there doesn't always have to be bad guys trying to stir the pot, right? I guess that's breaking from the formula then too, if I don't have a bad team. <laughs> what was that laugh? <laughs> that was awful. Pokemon garbage. Yes. 
I do want to make Pokemon garbage. I think that'll be really fun. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. Let's see. I can actually afford to put this on the... Ah, oh, whatever. Put this there. I don't know why I'm doing this. There you go. It seems like that are boring. Ah! Maybe, but uh, maybe not. Sometimes I sometimes it depends on what people's mood is, like what they're in the mood for. Sometimes you're in the mood for something that's more straightforward that's not trying to like circle jerk you. Shove a trubbish. <laughs> Ultra garbage. Yes. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. I had to bring this all out one more layer, which should be pretty easy to do. Yeah, that's actually very easy to do. For bad team bullshit. Not always. Yeah, not always. I'm gonna get the legendary Pokemon and use its power to take over the world! And then the next game, I'm gonna take the legendary Pokemon and use its power to take over the world! There should be there should be a Pokemon game where the bad team is actually like misunderstood and they're they're actually a good team. And it's not so like it's not so like morally like I don't know what I'm trying to say, but like in all the other Pokemon games it's just like maybe Team Aether was a little bit less you know what I'm trying to say, right? Like every Pokemon game for a while there was just like I'm gonna take over the world now I'm gonna take over the world now I'm gonna take over the world yeah a reverse Pokemon game where you're the bad guys trying to take over the world I think they've done that there have been some where it's reverse but I'd be down for more of those. Team Skull didn't. Yeah, that's true. Team Skull wasn't trying to take over the world. But that's 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 one evil team out of in a game with two evil teams, you know. So it technically there is still an evil team that's trying to maybe not take over the world, but they're trying to do bad shit. But I mean, I guess that, that's I guess that's why they're bad guys, you know. Bum ba -dum -ba -dum. What I'm trying to say is this. I want to play as the bad guys more. That's what I'm trying to say. Garbage and trash coming this fall. Let's go. Spoilers. Oh no, Sun and Moon spoilers. I'm sorry. Well, my spoiler was just basically bad team do bad shit. Wow. Wow. Let's see. Um... Let's see here. Is there any Pokemon? That'd be funny if there was a the bad team was just people who were saying don't use Pokemon anymore and they got like guns and shit instead. And they're like, hey, stop using Pokemon and they, like beat you with like sticks. Cut it out. You know. Cause I know that Team Plasma wants people to stop it they their argument doesn't make a whole lot of sense, though, when they're using Pokemon to try to convince you not to use Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then... This can be the way up. Yeah, what... what well, is it spoilers to talk about Team Skull's goal? Where you're secretly the bad guy? Yeah, and you're being like, you're being lied to. That'd be cool. 
Bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. You're actually the bad guy. Okay, okay. What was their goal? I don't remember. They just do things because they wanted to? Okay. Let's start making our rock puzzles. Fourth layer? Yes. Using events as a fourth layer, I just did right there. It's a... Uh, it's a cheap tactic. But it works. There we go. I'm just going to do this to be like the basis of our puzzles. And then we can make some dank puzzles later. There we go, dank puzzle time now. So you come in here, and then there's two paths, left and right. So what we should do is make it so that way it's like, the switch for left is there. So it could almost be like this. So you have to choose left or right. And then from there, you go on the wild goose chase. And I can put some items and stuff in little uh, crannies and nooks. Oh, my phone just went... It just did it again! What the hell? Oh, it took him long enough. You ever, like, uh, try to, like, remember your password from an email thing or whatever, and, uh, they just take forever, so you just assume that they gave up? Like my fonts? Yes, there is. Um, yeah, it requires, there's a script, I think. You can change the default font, I think. Control shift F font. Yeah, there it is. Um... Sprite window, font name, yeah, yeah, and you have to just put more fonts in your folder and stuff. I kind of don't like this puzzle like that. There you go. I, I kind of prefer it like that now. There we go. What did I do? This needs to go up again. Resources. Yeah, there's gonna be some good resources that are made public. There's some really good uh, resource people participating in the game jam too. Turn on sight like flash? Maybe. Oh, that'd be mean if I did that on this floor. Welcome, by the way, INC. How you doing? That'd make people really hate this floor. Active. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Ketchup. It's cool. It's cool. There's no worries. If there was a stream to not be active on, tonight's is the night. I'm just, uh... I'm in full-on vegetable mode. Bum, 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 bum. Um... Let's see... Maybe I could have, like, switches that open other places? I don't know. Yeah, that'd be kind of a pain. But, oh, well, the point of this floor is to be a pain. Maybe I could put a strength puzzle in one of these also. 
Maybe. Okay, something like this now. Maybe just do something like that now. Where there can be just some trainer battles. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. All right. It's kind of fun to make these like dumb little puzzles. You know? Like, they're each their own individual little islands that have their own, like, rules. Like, what if this one's kind of just like this, but then there's, like, trainers doing loops around these two, you know? Just little bit, little things to spice it up. I kind of like that. You gotta go? All right. I'll see a Halo Sith. Maybe I'll stream another hour? Escape. Ooh, he added portraits to it? That's pretty dope. That's like, uh, that's like an RPG Maker MV feature, almost. Let's see, so when you land on this place, it's like that. There we go. This can be like that. Hmm. This is coming out okay, actually. I thought it was going to come out looking really bad, but it's actually not too bad. At least, not yet. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a huge pain in the ass. It's going to be funny, though. People are going to be stuck on this floor forever. This is the nightmare floor. This is the nightmare floor. Let's see, I'm gonna go out of my way to make this one a little different, a little special. No, I need to do. I need to think of something to make this like really mean. Maybe something like that. If I made this a dead end, that would be the worst thing ever that anyone's ever done. Oh, I just thought of something to make this even worse. What if I made it so that way this is a switch right here? Okay, I'm not going to do this because it's mean, but just, just hear me out. I could have, I could make it so there's a switch right here, and that you have to hit that switch to unlock this gate, and then go back the way you came. That would be an, an asshole move. I want this game to be less asshole-ish, so instead I'll make it so that way both these paths you can progress forward. That's what I'll do. But I could, let it know, I could have done that. I'm not going to, but I could have. Because that would just be mean. Okay. It's nightmare floor. Wait, what, what, what? Nightmare floor will break my computer on. <laughs> I love that mad face. I, li I really like it when people type mad face and they use uh, lowercase c. To be like extra mad, like the mouth going like, hmm. That's one of my favorites. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. There we go. Like some of these are a little bit less puzzling. This could be the room of double battles. 
There it is. I like that, like, little C. <laughs> I love that. Alright. This be a basic room. Just a trainer there and a trainer there, and they're doing a double battle. And you could choose to talk to one of them, or just bypass the whole thing. Um, or maybe I'll make it so the switch is there. Jelly JX, what's up? Welcome, how you doing? What's going on? Yeah, this will just be a basic one. There we go. This floor will be kind of like a wraparound floor. No, maybe something more like... Something like that, something basic. I could do this, actually. I like it when the floor is used more rocks rather than less. Sansy boy, hey, welcome back, Sansy boy. I'm feeling a little better now. I'm feeling a little bit less tired. I'm, uh, I'm getting back into the energy of things. I'm getting back into the energy of things. What do you guys want to talk about? Let's talk about something. I like naturally rejuvenate and rejuvenate energy over time. I'm getting back into it. Maybe I'll land at 11:30 my time, and it's 10 o'clock my time now. How's that sound? Okay, um, let's make this floor like this. I like these kind of like arena-esque floors. I like these. Talk about food! Okay, I really like food, I really like food. Um, so today I went to a bento place, kind of near work, and they've got really good uh, potato katsu. I know what you're thinking, you're like, why is he getting potato instead of chicken or pork? Uh, I've been trying to eat... Um, like maybe like a more like healthy I mean I guess since it's fried it's not that healthy anyway but I'm trying to eat um, like I don't know I'm trying to cut out I'm trying to I'm trying to be a vegetarian for a little bit if that makes sense I'm not doing it for health I'm just trying it because my uh, my family has a lot of like vegetarian slash vegans so I'm trying it and um, but yeah this potato katsu is like amazing Tried making an NPC that has multiple textiles. When I try to, the either NPC isn't there. It just says on one line. Can you help? Oh, are you talking about like different lines? How do I stream? I use open broadcast software. Like, if you want to make a new line, do slash uh, n. I think for a new line. So we could say, yo, slash n. What's up? Slash n. Hey. And I think, and then make that on player touch. And, um... Let's, uh, set the music for our map. And let's go, let's go walk on our nightmare map for a little bit. Do you guys hear that? God dang, the planes are loud. Let's go walk on our nightmare map. Look at chat and stuff. Oh, I have multiple monitors. I, um, I got my left monitor with all my Pokemon stuff, and I got my right monitor dedicated to, like, OBS and Twitch chat and such. I got my Twitch dashboard, basically, on my right monitor. And then another tab for my, uh... Uh... Like, YouTube songs that I'm playing. Yeah, so this will make it all new lines, if you do the slash N. Are you talking about, like, he only prints out one line? Because in that case, you just do text, show text again, and then... And make it, uh, line two. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, yeah, dual monitors are, are life. They say one thing, and then when I talk to them again, I want them to say something else. Oh, you should use switches for that. So, like, um... Let me show you an example. Insert conditional branch. If self-switch A is off... 
So that, what the way that this will work now is, this is the first thing that plays, and then this can be the second thing that plays. So it can say, uh, oh no, god, Windows. So this can say, thing one, insert, control self switch, set A to on, insert, show text, thing two. Make it so it's a, a dude that we talk to, or maybe just Lorelei, that's not a dude. Action button. So now if we talk to her, she'll say a different thing depending on when we talk to her. And if you want to make it invert and flip, then you can make it so that way um, one of them turns it off and one of them turns it on, so they switch between two things. Where am I? Okay, now I know where I am. Thing one, thing two. Thing one, no. Now she just keeps saying thing two. I don't turn it back off. So if you want an NPC that says something only once, definitely get get using switches and uh, conditional branches and such. That's the best way to handle a lot of multiple stuff. I think it was on maybe Luca's Twitter, or did, I think did he posted it in the in the Discord? Maybe. I I, th I know what you're talking about though. I think I've seen what you're talking about. That's it's pretty it's pretty good stuff. Rebattable until you actually catch them. That's tough. I think. I might. Um, where is it? Is it this one right here? Yeah, go to Route 3 and scroll down to this uh, Invisible Kecleon event. It's kind of hard to find, but here it is. And the way it works is, after PB Wild Battle, you can do a conditional branch for um, Temp Choice equals 1, Temp Choice equals 3, and Temp Choice equals 4, I guess? So if you won, if it escaped, if it's caught, so you can make it so that way it's it's still there up until if caught. Yeah, the battle result gets stored in a variable, right? Yeah, is, is it temp Pokemon choice? So you can make it so that way if you won, it doesn't turn self switch A on. If it escaped, it doesn't turn self switch A on. Maybe temp Pokemon choice 2 is defeat. I haven't checked though. Um... And if caught, then it turns self switch on, so it only disappears once it's been caught. So yeah, try looking at this event and tweaking it. Because this is an interesting example. Yo, 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 Vaporeon, yo, 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 how you doing? Let's play this song. I want to stay awake. I've been super tired tonight. But, uh, I'm, uh, getting back into the swing of things now. I'm, my energy is slowly returning to me. How have you been doing? There we go. Interesting floors. Now this one can just be a real pain. But it's worth it for that item. Because that item will be something good. I don't know what it is yet, but I'll have to make it something good. Maybe I can put a trainer here. Nah, I don't want really to put a trainer there. Now, I just don't know where, where to put that switch that opens that. Maybe I can put it over here. Where I got like a little small island. And I can make so this small island is always open. Pokemon are watching. Nice. Playing some pocket monsters. Okay. This could be like a super small island. All it is is just the switch. That's all there is on the island. Let's do that. Copy. Movie was weird. Wait, what movie was weird? Oh, the movie you watched? Did it have space vampires? Did it have aliens that turn into cars? 
did it have people that were made out of pickles? I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. Let's see, so I need to do Lava Rocks 26. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, ex I'm excited to be using even more switches. 26. 27. I basically need to make one for each island. 28. 29. 30 cube. Is that the sequel to Adam Sandler's Click? He gets a fidget cube, but every time he uh, presses buttons on it, people people around him slow down. There should be a movie with Adam Sandler where he has voodoo fidget spinners that when he spins them, the people around him start spinning. Also, that'd be awful. That would be so awful. But maybe that's why they should do it. I mean, he made Jack and Jill, right? He's not opposed to making awful movies. Zing. He made Grown Ups too. He's not opposed to making awful movies. Double zing. Okay, this will be 26. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so now I need to make a switch for 26. Right on. 26. Let me read this though. People wake up in rooms where all rooms around it are the same, but some have traps. Interesting. Wait, so there's some rooms that just have traps in them? You just have trap rooms? Like booby traps? Twenty six. This can be twenty seven. So then now these can be twenty seven. I need to think of good items to put here. Okay, you guys. What are some good items that I should hide on this floor inside a volcano? What are good items? If I'm if I'm going to put a TM or if I'm going to put a good item. What's a good item? It said booby. Got him. Like, if you were exploring this place, what are some items you'd be glad to pick up? Like, a max repel, maybe? Would you be glad to pick up, like, a like a hyper potion? What would you be glad to pick up? 27. Let's make this next one 28. Explosion. Ooh, a TM for explosion? Orenberry. Hmm. I don't know about an Orenberry. Because that only heals, like, 10, right? A revive. Ooh, okay. My will to live. See, I'm definitely going to put one of those in. I'm definitely going to add some will to live. Because this is a charcoal. Let's put a revive. Those are pretty worth. Let's see. How do you set up an item if you get it from somebody instead of finding it? Um, I think that's PB receive item. So this is PB item ball, and that's like taking it out of a Pokeball. But if somebody gives it to you, then I think you do PB receive item. Bulkberry. Lava Plume TM? Is there such a TM? I can go to my items and look at my TMs. Thief, Overheat, False Swipe, Scald, Charge Beam, Sky Drop, Incinerate. Is there a Lava Plume? Control F. Lava. There's Lava Cookie. Oh, the only instance of Lava is just on Lava Cookie. Shuck. Shucks. I know everyone loves X attacks. Maybe I should put those in. I'm just kidding. I hate X attacks. They stink. Nobody likes X attacks, right? Nobody likes X specials and X speeds. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a hater. That's probably it. 28. Boop, boop. 
Hey, thank you. I heard that. It's hard to hear it through the music that I'm blurring so loudly, but I appreciate the follow. Because I'm suck. Okay. I'm glad I'm not the only one who hates them. Speedrunners. Yeah, but speedrunners... Speedrunners aren't representative of the average player's feelings, right? I feel like a lot of people just hate the X items. They almost feel like a waste of a turn. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba 29. 29. Copy, paste. This is 29 now. This is going to be such a hellish floor. Hopefully it doesn't make people quit. I don't want to make a game where people quit. Use them. I hate them. Okay, yeah. I I hate the X items. Hey, fellas, what's up? Surfing Ninja, what's up? How you doing? So this was 29. This one will just always be on. So now this is going to be 30. I'm going to run out of switches, maybe. I mean, it's easy to make more. Oh, I'll do this. Yeah, there we go. That makes it better. Recoded. That's one of the games I need to play. You gotta play Kingdom Hearts 1. Or 2. 30. Recoded. I still have yet to play Recoded. Every time I tell people that I want to play it, they're like, "No, don't." I want to play Persona 2. I played a little bit of it. I want to play. I want to play really bad games on stream. I want to play uh, Ride to Hell Retribution. I like bad games. I don't know why I do it to myself. I just like playing really bad games. So in that case, I'm gonna love Summit Trials. Ho, 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 ho. Zelda CDI, oh no. That's the one where he goes, my boy. Or he goes, excuse me, princess. No, that's the TV show, isn't it? My boy. Hey, I try hard, what's up, welcome, how you doing? I'm doing okay. I was doing really awful earlier, but now I'm feeling a little better. I was just very tired at the start of the stream. But now I've got a, I've got a goal I'm focusing in on. So yeah, now I'm doing alright. My boy. That's the one, yeah. My boy. I love that quote. That's really good. Let's see. That game's Roblox is calling. <laughs> oh god. If I do a Roblox video though, people said that they would leave. They would leave me. They would never Big Rigs. Oh god. Big Rigs has um Do you guys know about the Big Rigs like reverse cap? Ray Drew does things. What's up? Welcome. How you doing? Thank you very much. Jelly Raid. Oh, perfect. It's better than being Panty Raided. You don't forget about the Panty Raid. Oh, Exploding Raid. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much, Exploding Jellyfish. Thank you, Mark is awesome. Thank you, you guys. Awesome. Jelly. <laughs> the Panty Raid. Let's see, this is block 32. I'm sorry I'm not doing anything more interesting during a raid. Here I am just uh, making more rocks. In fact, it's one of the least interesting things I could be doing during a raid. At least I'm not doing that tile puzzle. If you guys, if you guys, if this is your first time seeing some of my stuff, I made a really awful puzzle where each of these individual tiles had to have their own switch and I had to go and double click on each and every single one of them and make individual pages and move routes for them. Ugh! I hate this room. I hate just looking at it. I'm out of here. So yeah, I'm having more fun making a volcano. The volcano is cool. This room is going to be a real pain. Essentially, the premise of it is there's a bunch of different lava squares, and each square has its own little, like, miniature maze. So they're like a bunch of, like, little mini challenges, and they all kind of connect, and there's two paths. At the beginning, you can go left or right, and one path's a little harder than the other, but... 
I'm having a decent amount of fun just working on lava. So yeah. Yeah, I'm having the most fun playing with this volcano. I feel like a little kid with a volcano uh, experiment in a science class or something. I never actually did that, though. Steam wallet to anything else. I don't know if it is. I know that you can buy trading cards with Steam Wallet, and then from there maybe you can do stuff. I don't know if it's too legal or conventional, but maybe like buy a Counter-Strike skin and then sell it. I don't know. I ain't no good at these things. Okay, 33. 33. Playing with volcanoes, yep. And that'll be, that'll be my life for the night. Which isn't too bad, but it's also not too great. Especially when you're tired. But I'm powering through it. I gotta. For the sake of the game. For the sake of the game jam. Five bits per day. Aw, only five a day? Oof, what did I do? Did they give you stuff when you, like, watch ads for bits or something? Let's see. Bought two DLC games from trading cards alone. Ooh, awesome. I bought some really... Oh, wait. I almost spoiled it. I almost spoiled it, you guys. I almost spoiled it. On Steam, I... I you know how I was talking about playing bad games? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a, a nice little hint. I don't want to spoil it too much, and I don't want you guys going crazy guessing it, but uh, I bought something, and I'm gonna play it. I bought some I got I bought some things and I'm gonna play them. I don't know when I'm gonna play them, but I will say this. I like playing bad games, and I work in RPG Maker a lot. I'm not gonna say anything else, because I may have given it away already, but I'm excited for this little series of mine. And I th the reason I'm excited for it is because it's not it's something that's different than Pokemon. Wall E Steam Edition. Wait, is there actually a thing? Okay, I got a question for you guys. This is a good question. What is the worst game on Steam? What's the worst game on Steam? What's the worst game that you have seen on Steam? There's actually a thing. Ugh, that sounds bad. Wally, -E, Steam Edition. Do you get to play as the fat guys that have the? Uh, they should. Wally -E on Steam should be a VR game where you just play as the fat people like sliding around and drinking slushies. Hoonie Pop. Oh man released on Steam in 2015. Yeah, Wally -E, the movie was, itself was actually all right, but how, is, how's the game? Streams of actually... Oh, okay. Streams of the Wally -E game. Is it like a like a 3D platformer? The graphics are horrible and the cutscenes of the fat people are hilarious. Okay, nice. Don't you guys think that there should be a VR game of it where you play as the fat people? That'd be great. Okay, this one will be 35, and this one will display text, actually. 35... Rename 35... Man, so many switches. Let's do this. Insert... Insert... Insert conditional branch. If self-switch A is off... So I'm going to use that trick I talked about just a little bit ago. Correct? Wait, so it is a 3D platformer? Okay, it's okay, kind of buggy. It makes the platforming puzzles in action. It's actually entertaining. Okay. That sounds like uh, that sounds like what they used to do a lot when they would convert a movie to a game. They would just uh, make it a 3D platformer and make it so the levels. Wait, where do we go? The food in a cup from Wally -E was made from dead people. Oh, oh no! Sure, yeah, I didn't know how to lisp. I didn't know how to lisp either. Suffering succotash. What if you are being a fat person at SMH? <laughs> I guess that's a good point. <laughs> I mean, it's just a, it's just an insight into our future, right? Show text. It'll say the secret path has opened. Throws fake bits. Poof, accepts fake bits. Ha! Ah. Let's see. Control self switch A on. There we go. And now when A is on, nothing happens. I don't know. Something something simple like that. They were made in MS Paint. Oh my god, really? The graphics look that bad? I love that emote so much. It's pretty okay looking. Okay. I have another question. Ooh, let's see. About a Team Rocket run. Let's let's hear it. I could probably help you out. I could probably I could probably give you some uh some little nuggets of help. Thirty five. Thirty five, thirty five, thirty five, thirty five. 
Alright. The pre rendered cutscenes are terrible, but the game is okay if you max it out. Okay. I really love games with really awful graphics. I kind of have a soft spot for games with really awful graphics. I kind of like it when the game is consistent in the, in its awfulness. If it's sometimes good, sometimes bad, I actually like that less. But, that sounds pretty funny. Negative help is still help. Yeah! I'll give you negative help. Nah, I'll do my best to give positive help. I try. I try to give positive help. Has anybody ever asked me a question and then I, I was not sincere in trying to help them? I hope the answer to that is no. I want to help people. It's so bad, it's good. <laughs> There's a lot of games like that, though. They double around from being so bad that they get good. Like, um... Ride to Hell Retribution is a comedy gold mine, and I want to play that a game again because it's just it's so bad it's good. <laughs> Let's see. Getaway Island. What game is that? A switch that's called Rocket Grunt Appear and it's on. The grunt isn't there, and when it's off, the grunt appears. At the beginning of the game I set the switch to off so it appears. So the thing is by default, switches are off. When you first make a switch, by default it is off. So you don't have to set it to off at the beginning. What you could do is this. Let me sh let me make an event. What you could do is make it so that way, by by default the switch is off, and then make it so there's only one event page where the switch here is if Rocket Grunt is on, and then when you turn the switch off, he will disappear. If there's only one event page and it fails to meet the condition, it'll disappear. If there's only one event page and it meets the condition, then it will appear, if that makes sense. Oh, I don't want to apply it. I want to get rid of this event. There we go. Some cutscenes are made in engine. Interesting. Oh, that's really funny. I love it when games do that. I know exactly what you're talking about. I can visualize it now perfectly. Like really awful. Yeah, so it's it's not really well, it's kinda like a ROM hack. It's uh it is RPG Maker. So I'm um I'm making a Pokemon game in ROM hack. I mean, sorry, in RPG Maker. It's not a... It's You can't play it on an emulator. You cannot play it on an emulator. But... It's, uh... It's got all the quirks... Of a RPG Maker game. Let's, uh... Let's add one layer here and delete one layer there. So, like this... Yeah, something like that will be good. There we go. That makes the floor a little bit better. Much better in engine. <laughs> yeah, I see. I feel like the reason, yeah, it's a standalone EXE exactly, um, and it, that that comes with pros and cons. A lot of pros though. There's no, um, there's no technical limitations, which is cool. I've had some people ask me questions where it's like, oh, what what are the uh, the color? Uh, limitations like how many colors can you allow on a sprite at one time and I'm like hey, hey I don't know because it doesn't matter you can just go to town I eventually want to make okay I got a question for you guys I got a question for you guys so I've been doing a lot of Pokemon stuff it's cool but would would you guys be interesting and in, interested in seeing me make an RPG game that wasn't a Pokemon game just an RPG would that be interesting Chat against Facebook. Okay, the grunt is off screen. The event is set to start playing music. Then the grunt walks up along with the wait for move complete. Except when my character walks onto the tile that causes the event to take place, the music starts and the rocket grunt doesn't move. Um, hmm. This is tricky. I would? Okay, normal RPGs. You think that'll be awesome? Okay, sweet. I think I know what my next project's gonna be. Because I want to try expanding. And plus, I could potentially put it on Steam. Let me uh, let me open up my Steam right now. There was one game that was freaking awful. It was freaking awful. I'm just loading up Steam right now. Hey, thank you, Mark. Is awesome. You are awesome. What was it called? Ah, it was one of the worst RPG Maker games. Um... I almost bought it. I could go to my Twitter, actually, and find it. I tweeted about it, about just how bad it was. Let me go to my profile. 
Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. It's uh, I, I normally I'm focusing on my game and tw working on my game, but I really need to find this. Where was it? I tweeted about it. I tweeted about how bad it was. Where is it? When did I tweet it? Damn it. I tweeted a while back. Where is it? There it is. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I did tweet it. Here it is. Here's the game, you guys. Hey, thank you. Athopiu. This game, it, it was made, and it's using the default RPG Maker characters. It's not using new sprites at all. It's just the default ones that came with RPG Maker. Um, I don't know if you saw it. It's kind of hard to see. But it says Orc emerged, and those are bees. Um, the game itself costs five bucks, and then but you can buy DLC characters for two dollars each. And it's like the game's like ten minutes long, and that's it. Yeah. So uh, I want to make a game that's better than that. So that's in six dollars. I'll buy it, making cringy LP on it. Yes. Hey, if you're making a cringy LP on it, uh, I can hook you up with a developer deal. Ten minutes. Yeah. It's like six bucks for like ten minutes of gameplay. I'll give you an RPG that's got at least 15 minutes, so that's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a step up. <laughs> 15 minutes. I got you for five minutes. Five minutes of playtime. Um, more switches. Yeah, that was a fun little side rant, though. I was I was considering buying that game and playing it like on a YouTube video, but it was actually not worth. Like I'd be paying to make a video. I'll pay six dollars to upload a video to YouTube, please. Any thoughts on that grunt situation, or do you think I just made a little error? It's probably a little error. I would say just do slight tweaks, a little bit of tweaks here and there, and try keep try to keep restarting the event. Um. Essentially, though, what should happen is you should make an event where you step on it and it turns a switch on, and then the grunt has one event page where it only checks that one conditional to see if he is on. So, like, for example, the grunt is here. That's our grunt. And in, and he only checks to see if that switch is on. Let's see. Editing, focusing on streaming more. Yeah. Now I'm affiliate. Nice. It's pretty cool, huh? My affiliate emote hasn't been, uh, hasn't been, uh, uh, what's the word? They haven't processed it yet. Check it out. This is going to be my affiliate emote. So if people subscribe, they can get this awful emote. I'm probably going to stream for another hour, Sansy Boy. Just one more hour. Yeah, so hopefully that gets approved, and then I can start making the, uh, the worst emotes of all time. 38, 38 golf claps. I want to play a golf game. Do you guys ever play Hot Shots Golf? I like Hot Shots Golf. Okay. Copy. The question is, where am I going to put the switch on this floor? Maybe I'll put it here. So that one was 38. This one needs to be 39. God dang, so many numbers. At least I can talk with you guys about uh, memes. Yeah, yeah, that's a better TV. So, uh, no, that's a Franker Faces emote up there. I'm on that. Oh, quality cringe. If you want to see quality cringe, if we're talking about quality cringe videos on YouTube, I can hook you guys up. Go to youtube.com slash thundaga. Actually, no, most of the videos on that aren't cringe. If you want to see real cringe, though... Wait, does that need to be 38? So this should be 39. 39. Yeah, Real Cringe, though, is my old YouTube channel that I made with friends, like, a long, long time ago. Where we did, like, Minecraft stuff. That's, that's like, pure uncut cringe. That's the good shit. That's the good shit. 39. Apply. Let's go. Just my channel. Somebody should just make a... Oh, actually, no. I'm not going to spoil it. Let's just say next April Fools, you guys are going to be blown away. I'm not going to spoil it. Oh, memes, right? You send a meme. Ah, oh, perfect timing. Perfect timing for the memes. To be continued. Wait. Are you talking about uh, the JoJo memes? I love that meme, the roundabout JoJo meme. 
advert, but let me just say that I never deleted my old videos, so there, yeah, there's, I still got old YouTube videos that are really cringy. Make a Patreon? I don't know. Would people be interested in that? I'm, I'm kind of content with just, uh, streaming and doing YouTube stuff, and if people subscribe and cheer or whatever, then... Cause like I have a I have a job it, it's it kind of tires me out but uh, I'm making okay money. If if people did that then that'd be cool. Maybe I'll consider it in the future. Right now I'm I'm not gonna worry about Patreon because I feel like I don't need it. But um, I really appreciate the thought though. Maybe I'll do it later though. Boom. Get really tired so I gotta head out. All right. Good night, exploring jellyfish. I hope you have a good night's sleep. <laughs> See you next time. All right, I'll see you next time too. I'm glad you liked it. Thanks for hanging out with me and doing a little raid. Also, that was pretty cool. I appreciate that for this amazing voice. Oh yes, is it actually a good voice? I, I, I need to ask you guys this. I feel like I have a distinct voice that's different from a lot of my friends. It feels almost more like throaty, if that makes sense. Or maybe nasally, it's hard for me to describe. As long as it's relaxing. I, I just want to relax with you guys. Let's see. Um, and then this should be 41. It's not nasally. Okay, good. It's not like a, Hi, I'm Camero. It's me. That'd be nasally. I can't even do like that. <laughs> it's a chill voice. Yes. That's all I wanted to hear. It sucks, because, like, I'm basically just fishing for attention when I say that. It's not like anyone's going to say, no, your voice sucks. They're all going to be like, yeah, that's great. Dang it. What have I done? It's chill. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. All right. Good night, exploding jellyfish. I hope you have a good night's sleep and you don't explode in your sleep like a jellyfish would. Let's see, 41. Let's see. Super high energy, so after streaming. Oh, yeah, I need to widen. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I had a weird stream today um, where I, I, was, I did the wind down at the beginning. So I was super tired at the beginning, but now I'm feeling it. I feel like when you stream a lot, you can kind of like feed off of the energy for better or worse. Because there were sometimes like. There were sometimes that like. Twitch chat was like negative and then I fed off the negativity and I got negative which sucks but other times when Twitch chat's positive it turns into like this like whole like spiral upwards and it's great it's great fun oh speaking of chill songs chill vibes okay now I need to add an item over here what would be an amazing item to put over here like a TM maybe like a flamethrower TM flamethrower is pretty dang good did I make it so that way TMs don't disappear Let's check and see. Gain XP for capture. Let's set that to true. Because that'll be cool. No split experience. False. Should be divided equally. Or each participant should be gained. Interesting. Okay, I'll set that to false. Ember. <laughs> An Ember TM. Yeah, you have to do all that work to get the most basic item. Let's make it so that way you get, like, uh, a potion. Depending on the gainer's level or not. Maybe I'll set that to true. Use new battle mechanics. False. Yeah, false. Use move category. Hey, thank you. Uh, set this to false. Enable shading is false. Infinite TM's true. Good stuff. Diving surface anywhere. Oh, uh, no. Fishing auto hook? That'll make fishing easier pass. Poison faint in field, false. Poison field, true. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. Hey, burn for tv what's up? Some RPG Maker XP, make a tutorial on how to loop music at some point. Yeah, um, that's a very good question, and unfortunately, it pains me to say that I don't think I can. I've tried everything I, in my power to get music to loop. Essentially, what I did is I went into Audacity and um, there's ways to set OGG files to have loop starts and loop ends. And RPG Maker XP was not processing the loop start and loop end points. 
and it would just play through the file like normal. So I think it might be an engine limitation thing. If there's another way to figure out how to do it, I would love to do that. That would be one of my favorite things to do, because I myself actually struggle with looping music. That would be a great tutorial, but I don't believe it's possible, which is kind of depressing. Let's see, moderate while I streamed. There were some annoying guys who came in and kept pestering us to turn on song request. That's dumb. So we stopped it. Oh. You let them win. What you gotta do is either counter troll them or just ban them and move on. It sucks though. I, f I really hate it when like neg negativity happens and then like it kind of ruins the feeling. I wanna have chill streams where I don't have to. That's one of the reasons that like when I do story based games, I might just stick to YouTube. Because I don't want to have the chance of people just coming in and going like, blah, blah, dies at the end. And I go, ah, you know. Make an that's just a stick. <laughs> Perfect. That'd be like Undertale, wouldn't it? Isn't that like a... That'd, that'd be an Undertale-esque thing to do. Yeah. If we're talking about, like, dealing with negativity and trolls, though, I got a really good thing I like to say, Drew does things. One of my favorite lines is this. Okay, are you ready? Just imagine somebody just came in and started being really mean and started trolling me. My response is this. I say, listen, your first impression was your last impression. It was terrible. You're out of here. Boom. And they drop the band hammer on him. It's a pretty good line. I like that. Your first impression was your last impression. Ba, 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 ba. You only get one chance at a first impression and you blew it. Let's add some big rocks where I can. Clipping that. Oh, <laughs> it's a great line. It's a. It's what you gotta drop on people sometimes. It makes you feel like a badass too. There was one time I was really mean to this guy because he was mean to me. I told him like it was past his bedtime. That's just like a. That's just like a general one though. Eat a sack of potatoes. <laughs> I'll do it. I like potatoes. Sort of, I thought. Yeah. Thanks for that. Okay. When creating Pokemon games, is there a way to ensure after creating games people can't go in and out, alter and edit it? Um, there is a way. It involves. Um, what's the word? You basically can compress or compile. What is it? Um, you, yeah, you can minimize it, but you can't prevent it fully. There, there are still always ways to modify it. I would say don't worry about the modifications. Um. Sometimes it's a good thing if people can go in and modify it because, for example, let's say there's an event that's messed up and they're stuck. They could go in and like get their character unstuck via debug. Um, I think it's impossible to prevent, so I've just kind of like stopped worrying about it. Been cursed by the shadow queue. Yeah, what was I saying though? Squisher. Hey, Squishy, what's up? Welcome back. How have you been? I'm doing alright. I'm just chilling. Having a nice chill stream right now. Chillaxin. How have you been, though? What's up? Can I post links? Yes, you can. Right now, I have links enabled. I used to have links disabled, but I figured my channel is still pretty small, so the risk of people abusing that feature is quite low. If people start posting bad shit, then I'll turn off links, but right now, everyone's been chill, so no worries too plain. Yeah, right now I just used only one type of rock to uh, get the puzzle format. Uh, excuse me. To get the puzzle format, basically, uh, where I like it. And now I'm gonna start um, mixing things around. Clips. Wait, is that what? What clip is this? How to deal with? All right, let me listen. Let me listen to myself. Yeah. If we're talking about like dealing with negativity and trolls, though, I got a really good thing I like to say. Drew does things. One of my favorite lines is this. Okay, right, are you ready? Just imagine somebody just came in and started being really mean and started trolling me. My response is this: I say, "Listen, your first impression was your last impression. It was terrible. You're out of here." Boom, <laughs> you got to give a little snap. You got to give a little snap. You go. You're out of here. Clickbait? Nah. It's just me talking. I do sound kind of nasally, though. Maybe I'm just cr extra critical on myself. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta spice it up, though, with more different types of rocks. 
I like the bass in this song a lot. Bass, 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 bass. Fun fact, I played bass in a band in high school. It didn't really go anywhere, but I did play bass guitar. And I went boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Click oxygen. Wait, click lure. Wait, what, what? Color me confused. Put that like that. There we go. Spice up the rocks a little. You gotta make them spicy. Gotta get a little bit of sriracha in here. Sriracha is actually not that spicy though. I take it back. What do you guys think? What's the spiciest food you've ever had? For me, I'm trying to think. Cause my brother is super into spice, but I'm not as into spice. He has to have everything spicy. I'm trying to think. Base boy. Yeah. What did I have that was super spicy? Like a curry? Yeah, a curry or something? That's I think that's a... That's a good spice level there. Oh, I remember what it was. I went to a Thai place, and they said, uh... What, what do you want the spice level to be? So I said, well, how high does it go? And they're like, well, three... Well, it goes one through one to three, or you could get no spice. So I was like, let me try a three, and I got three, and I was like, ah, I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that again. Yeah, so if a place has a spice where three is the spiciest, don't do three. Oh, another thing that I had was really spicy was a Buffalo Wild Wings. I mean, I guess it's kind of like normie spice where it's like, oh, beat Buffalo Wild Wings, whatever. Um, but uh, the habanero, what was it? Mango habanero? That's actually really freaking hot. It's hot, it's hot going in and hot going out. That's what I'll say. Yeah, ghost peppers are... I, I got ghost pepper chips from Trader Joe's, and they didn't taste spicy at all. I think that's just because it was a chip, though. Like, ghost pepper and chip form probably pales in comparison to ghost pepper and ghost pepper form. She toyed with my emotions. Oh, yeah. Was she the, she was the spicy one? Did she give you spicy foods? And it was a fresh jalapeno. Oh, wow. I remember once I went to Soup Plantation and my aunt was talking, she was like, she got like the wrong pepperoncini in her salad or something. And pepperoncinis are pretty tame normally, but for some reason this one had like insane kick to it. It was just like, it hit, it hit you just right. So I'm always afraid of that, like, I'm biting into something that I don't think is spicy, but then it ends up hitting me just right, and then it's like, oh, oh. Bum, bum. Spicy attitude. <laughs> spicy tude. That's the spiciest thing I ever had. A spicy attitude. <laughs> Let's see. So far, these rocks are looking okay. I like the usage of these rocks. These rocks make everything better. And then these are good to break up the uh, the constant of all of everything being the same. Yeah, this is starting to look more legit. This floor has taken a long time, but uh, it's it's starting to look better, you guys. Thank you once again for just hanging out with me while I work on this. It makes the the work process a lot easier when uh, I can talk about spicy foods and stuff instead of just kind of mind-numbingly grinding away on maps. So thank you. Thank you. Anybody here play Banjo Kazooie? Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I need to put an item over here now too. Maybe I can make that a revive or like a hyper potion or something. Let's make this a hyper potion. That'll make it pretty worth. Boom. 
Let's see. Fantastic ideas. What's this? Chill music. It's pretty great, right? I like that chill music playlist. Let's go. 100 floor challenge. What are we talking about? It said 10. And it was all built up. Oh no, the spice. Yeah. Banjo Kazooie. So, Banjo Kazooie was one of the first video games I ever played. Or rather, that I remember playing. So, I'm pretty sure I've played other video games before, you know, like Pong and such. But uh, I really got into Banjo Kazooie, and that was the reason I got an N64. As well as because my friend had an N64 when I was younger. It sucks. I feel really bad when I think about it. There were times when I only wanted to go over to his house just so I could play his N64. I felt like. I feel kind of like a like a user. Like I was just using him. But then again, I was a stupid little kid, and I just wanted to play Smash Bros, so... I wanted to play Smash Bros 64. And then I got Kirby 64, and then, oh boy, that was a good game. I had a lot of fun playing Kirby 64. But yeah, Banjo-Kazooie was one of my favorite, one of my favorite N64 games. Let's see. Edit on stream? Made a mistake when finding people talking Discord while I did, so I can teach anyone anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I I definitely agree with that. It sucks too, cause I know exactly how you feel. You feel like you want to be more inclusive and you want to include your friends, but sometimes it feels like it's probably just better to do it alone. Even though as as much as it would be fun to include your friends and other things, cause sometimes I feel like that way about like videos on my YouTube channel, Thundaga. Like, I kind of want to invite some friends over and do some, like, playthroughs and other stuff. But I feel like I might be nerdier than my other friends. So, like, maybe I don't include them in some things. Although it would be interesting to get their perspective, but I don't know. But I, I kind of just want to be more inclusive. copy of E.T. Oh my god, I'm sorry for you then, man. The E.T. game is god-awful. If somebody ever says that they like the E.T. game, uh, run away from them. Just leave them be. They're beyond saving. Let's see, let's go. I think I made a mistake. Oh, man. Let's see, let's just make this... Let's make this like this, actually. So if I released... I got a question for you, Typical Jalapeno. If I released an RPG, and it had, like, four hours of gameplay, would you buy it for a dollar? What about two dollars? Two dollars. There we go. If I released an RPG with four hours of gameplay for two bucks, what would you think? Let's make this a super repel. Plan on creating all the Pokemon in this game, or just normal Mons? I think I'm going to just do normal Mons. Creating Pokemon for a game jam would be, like, really tough. It's really hard to create new Pokemon. Two books, four hours would be pretty good. Okay, yeah. Because, I like, if I'm being realistic with myself, I don't think that I could make a game that takes too long. I mean, maybe if it's, like, grindy. I don't want it to be too grindy, though. Let's see. Maybe with some DLC later. Let's go. I'm gonna stop talking for two. Oh. That's thing in Premiere. <laughs> I love Adobe Premiere. That's my editing software of choice. Whenever I edit my YouTube tutorial videos, I'm in Premiere. Making Fakemon for a game jam is easy. I mean, I guess it depends on how good you are at art. Making Fakemon themselves isn't that hard. But, like, tweaking them and making it so the game is balanced and good... Um, when the game jam is done and uh, have the Pokemon all have like good art for them and stuff. Like Fakemon, to be honest. That's fair. That's a, that's definitely a uh, a reasonable position. I I definitely understand that opinion. Make a, per a Pokemon Persona game. I actually toyed around with the notion. I actually toyed around with the idea. The thing is, Persona games. Uh, have good writing, and I'm not good at writing, so if I wanted to make a game like that, I'd have to be good at writing. Well, I mean, you can still get it, though. Wink, wink. Hey. Yeah. Let's, uh, copy one of these. Paste. I'm not looking forward to having to do all the lava for this floor, because that's going to make the event count skyrocket. 
But I think this floor is basically done besides trainers. Let's go to the third layer and add some sand for where I want to put trainers. And then we'll call it for this floor. Actually, I'll, I know where I want to put trainers. I'll, I'll worry about that later. Yeah, let's actually connect the floors now, though. Copy, paste. Hands up. Oh, no. I heard you downloaded a Pokemon game. Put your hands where I can see them. No, I just wanted to, I just wanted to catch a, a, a what's a what's a what's a fake mon from Uranium. I just wanted to catch a, a, a Pimblum. No, oh, Pumbloom. That's that's a Game Grump reference. Dang it! I wanted to make an original funny joke, but then I just took one. I just copied one that was funny instead of making my own funny. Dang it! Shucks. Hey, thank you. I think someone followed. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, retain. Board the lava, yeah. Uh, but I kind of like going overboard with the lava. Ah, ba 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 ba. No. Do I remember the time you caught a pumbloom? No. Scream it. No. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna make this a TM. This needs to be a flamethrower or explosion or flame charge. Let's make it flamethrower, which is TM 35. 35. Interestingly enough, that might be the number to get to here. Yeah, it is. Lava Rock 35. That's the one to get there. Nice. <laughs> Okay. Uh, what do I want to do now? What do I do? Let's, uh... Let's start putting some lava in, I guess. Looking forward to this. On this floor, I'm gonna be a little bit lazier with the lava placement. It's gonna be more formulaic. There's going to be a little bit less lava events. Oh no, internet. No! That sucks, Mr. Ketchup. Thank you for letting me know, though, dude. I'm, uh, I'll send you my condolences. Rest in peace. Press F to pay respects to Mr. Ketchup's internet. That's one of my least favorite things. I think I, I used to go on rants about that, but, like, one of my least favorite things is just internet cutting out. It, feel, it doesn't feel like in the 21st century that like, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm just a spoiled loser, but I hate it when the internet goes out. I hate it! I actually couldn't stream like a week ago because the internet in my place went out. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah, the Aether Paradise Lab is pretty good. Let's see. Yeah. I don't have unlimited phone data. It's really sad, too, because, like, I get texts sometimes where it's like, your, your family used up all the data. That's an additional $15. And I'm like, oh, no. What did I do? And it wasn't me. If, you, if somebody in your family uses Snapchat, don't share data with them. Ha, <laughs> ha. Terrible laugh. There we go. I think I'm being okay with the amount of lava I've placed. I don't want to go too overboard. Let's see. Octopakia, what's up? Or Octopakaya. How you doing, though? Welcome. Infrastructure in North America sucks because they're not compared to Japan. Oh, yeah. I just had to delay stream while doing my entire net didn't go down. My deal speed was fine. But upload went from ugh, to 0.05. That's, yeah, it sucks. I hate that feeling. It's just frustrating. It doesn't feel like it should be happening. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's see how this floor looks now. Let's walk around it. I should be able to... Oh, wait. No, I just realized I can't test it yet. I'm so close to being able to test it, but I just realized I made a little oopsie. I made an oopsie, you guys. I need to make a 
there's a couple things I need to do. The first one involves bridges. Um, am I doing that anywhere else? Is it just here? It's just this floor I started doing bridges? Or did I do it here too? Yeah, so I need to do bridge on and bridge off. So that's one thing I need to do. Bridge on. I'll trigger the bomb. No! I don't want to make oopsies to trigger the bomb. Okay, and then copy, wait, and then copy the bridge off. I feel like I need more rocks here, actually. I don't need to do these events, because I'm going to put rocks on the corners, I think. No! Let's see, third layer? Ah, oh, that's on the third layer. Dang it. Yay, more events, you guys. This is so sloppy. I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. There's op there's definitely better ways to do what I've done. Okay. So now I turn the bridge on and off. Off. On. Which is good. Now the next thing I need to do is copy one of these and start pasting them on the bottom connectors of these bits right here. And this one can just always be on, whatever. I'll just make it so these are always on. And I need to paste them on the bottoms. Cool. There we go. That should be testable now. Bottom, 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 bottom. Bottom. Oh, one more bottom. One more bottom to smack. Okay, cool. Now let's test it. We should be able to walk around our floor and everything should be good. Let's test Areno, our floor Areno. Alright. Oh yeah, did I do set metadata? Oh, there, I already see a little bit of problems. It's a small little graphical problem, but this tile right beneath me, I didn't do the uh, side wall underneath on the lair. Well, that's an easy fix. I'll just have to remember to do that. So... Let me set the metadata for both of these maps. This one is outside, yes. The date today, right now it is 7-19-2017. For me at least, yeah. It should be 7-20 for people on the east coast, past midnight. Oh yeah, I have to set the metadata for this floor as well. Outdoor, no. Show area, yes. Bicycle, no. 102? Okay, East Coast? For me, it is 1102. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Now imagine this with trainers and wild Pokemon. Then we got ourselves a very mean floor. Very mean floor. Uh, there was a little bug on that, but... So there'll be like two trainers, or maybe three trainers. Nah, let's do two. Now you can progress forward! And now it's working. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah, I didn't do lava on this one also. Cool. Yeah, we've made a very nightmarish floor here. Let's go back to the beginning and use our cheats. There we go. Now let's test this path. Twentieth, four days. Hey, nice. Well, happy birthday in advance, man. <laughs> no scares yet. Please, no spookerino. <laughs> Please, areno, no spookerino. Wait, did I hit the switch to open the secret? I like this floor. This floor is mean, and I like it. 
Growlithe? Wait. It shouldn't be doing this. It's a bug. Are you shook yet? Oh! No spook! Oh, I still didn't turn it on. Oh well. Let's uh, figure out that bug. So this should be turning on 41? No, 35. Let's play my music again. 35. So this one turning on 35. Yes. Off. And then you turn it on. Oh, okay. Wait. No, this should still... Hmm. Oh, it's because this turns self switch A on. I see. This does self switches. So this should be self switch B. That'll fix it. Nice. That'll fix the buggerino. Okay. And I'll put this actually afterwards. There we go. That'll that'll fix it. G G re re B B E E Fee Fee. All right, let's uh, look at this now. Yeah, this floor is almost done. I like uh, I like lava floors very much. This floor is mean, and I think it fits very well. And the lava bubbles are not too aggressive. They're kind of used more sparingly here. Ba -bum -ba -bum. There we go. Flanders from The Simpsons. Reno. Howdy there, neighbor, neighbor Reno. Howdy doodly, neighbor Reno. One of my favorite quotes in the Simpsons movie, it's really dumb, but there's a part where he talks about becoming paraplegic, but he says paraplegerino. And I don't know why, but like that strikes me as funny, even though it's like a very serious subject matter. Parapl he'll become a paraplegerino. Just, I don't know, that usage of word. Thank you, come again. See, that's pretty good too. Boom. This is good stuff. Oh no. There you go. So I'm going to make the lava a little bit more aggressive in this part of the room. There we go. I think this will be just fine. So I think that means this floor is done now. Bountiful. Yeah, that part. Hey, nice. Okay, let's go and put this on the second layer now. Oh, no, wrong layer. There we go. There, there, there. There, there, there. Boom, boom, cow. Boom, cow. One, two, three. Wait, did I have four? Oh, it's because it goes up one there. That makes sense. I almost confused myself. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff again. Already good stuff. Nice. I think this floor is just about done, besides adding trainers and wild Pokemon. So that means we're getting close to the end of the volcano. I might add another floor, but right now I'll just add a, uh, a transitionary floor. And this floor can be small. Sixty-two... Okay, cool. So this floor can afford to be pretty small, actually. My music from? 
Um, it was KH Insider. If you just search, uh, like, Pokemon, like, Ruby Sapphire, uh, soundtrack download, that should be one of them, the ones, one of the ones that pops up, KH Insider. Yeah, I, you could also just download it straight from YouTube, or, uh, there's other places, but that's, that's a good one. Let's put it like this. And let's put a little lava pool around it, actually. I can't get enough lava. I lava this lava. Takes longer? Oh, yeah. Iso? Um, that's, uh, that would be Emu Paradise. Or at least that's what I use for, like, ROMs and such. I lava you. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's make a lava waterfall. But make it so there's two lava waterfalls. And a bridge. This will be the final floor, so I want it to be kind of pretty. I lava good BBQ. Barbecue sauce. Let's do this. Pokemon love you. Pokemon love. Pokemon go. Pokemon go. Pokemon go. Poke don't stop. Okay. Let's make this the room where all the lava flows from. Yeah, this is going to be a cool floor. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. One of my favorite songs. Uh, let me play it real quick. I listened to the song like 2,000 times back when I was working at Obsidian because you were like, you could just put on your headphones and like grind away on bugs and stuff. It was for, not from Symphony of the Night, but it was Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. I think it's called Dracula's Tears. There it is. This song was... I listened to this over 2,000 times. Just take a little listen. Yeah, this is the one. I just had this on repeat for like a month straight. Listen to how jamming it is. This, is, this was just my jam. Like, god dang. That's some good, that's some good. Ooh. Ooh, that's some good tunes. I'll play it for a little bit longer and then I'll go back to Pokemon music. But I just gotta let you, I gotta, I must emphasize that I listen to this song a hell of a lot. <laughs> Uh, what was I gonna do? I was gonna make the lava waterfall. A good example of it is on the first floor. I want to figure out exactly how I got the tiling. Did I get it just right? I put those on the layer next to it. That's what I did. So I put these on the layer next to it. And then what I can do is put the lava on the second floor. Like this. Get two nice little like lava streams going. There we go. So now it starts looping again. I'll turn it down. There we go. Let's play the song. Bloody tears. See, that's a good song too. Hopefully, my stream doesn't get like copyright, whatever. Just because I played that song for like a minute and a half. See, this needs to go like that, I guess. 
How exactly did I work it for this waterfall on the first floor? Yeah. Okay, that's what I did. Bum bottom. Bum bottom bum. Bum 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 bum. Hey, thank you very much. So this can go down like that. I can go up to the third layer again and do some of this. Am I gonna have a narrow bridge? I think I won't. It'll be a three. That'll be fine. Let's see what the next song is on my playlist. Yes! I love this song very much. I'll end in like maybe 15 minutes or when I'm done with this floor. But uh, this is a great song for me to end on. I mean, I'm not ending right now, not yet, but uh, I love this song. I like it very much. Yeah, Azalea Town is one of like my favorite songs. I looped this one a lot at work also when I was uh, there. Gotta be jamming. You gotta be jamming. Okay, have this go down. Yeah, stream's almost done. We're getting we're getting close. We're getting to the final minutes. We're getting really close to the end. This is the end. Oh no! Okay, what I need to do is actually break back a little bit here. One, two, three, four, five. And just do that for like one, one layer. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. And now I need to do like. Let's do two layers, actually. Actually, should I do two or should I just do one? It's a tough call. Let's do two. Almost there. Must push onward to victory. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Yeah, there we go. Now that's the right one. Cool, so then we can have a little lava pool down here, except it'll be a big lava pool that the player paths over. Good stuff. Makes me sleepy. Yeah. My playlists have a way of doing that. Absolutely. Must press on and on and on. Yeah. Hell yeah. Xenoblade, baby. Mostly covers the music. Yeah. But then when it's just the music, it's like... Snooze fest. Oh no! I think this is fine. What do you guys think? How's it look? A map of just bridges. Made by Jeff Bridges. Should I make a game called Pokemon Bridge version where there's just a shit ton of bridges? What do you guys think? I'd play that? Hell yeah! <laughs> Pokemon Bridge. There could also be another one that's like shoots and ladders. There you go. There's one you climb up a bunch of ladders and you're going up a hill, and one where you're going. God, make that game. Okay, I'll make that game. That'll be a, another game jam that I do where I make a, a game in, in like a week. Or how about I make a game in a night? That'd be crazy. Pokemon a bridge. Pokemon Gar Bridge. 
game that's just about jam? You could! Honestly, if it's funny enough, it can do well in a game jam. Like, the, uh, the most appealing factor, I feel, is the uh, personality that people breathe into the games when they submit them. And my game, personally, right now, I feel doesn't have a whole lot of personality. I said personally and personality a lot there. But yeah, if you do a game with just a bunch of jam puns, that probably... People would probably like that. It would sell like hotcakes. This is technically on this layer. Um, put one of these down here. One of these down here. Some of these over here. Yes, there we go. So now let's make our lava go around. No, there we go. And I need one of these tiles like that down here. Yeah, it's coming along nicely, I gotta say. It's coming along nicely. Can I just do this? I can. That looks fine. That looks just fine. And let's make this layer go like that, so there's... Actually, let's do this. Let's have this go one further down. Actually, I don't know what I want to do here. I could put this on the second layer. Yeah, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll put it on the second layer, and then have these on the second layer expand down into it. And the reason I'm doing this is mainly so I can put uh, big rocks on the third layer. Wait, so that means these need to go on the second layer. No. I can't do that. I can't let you do that, Star Fox. One further down. Then I gotta go to the first layer and start doing some wonky stuff. I gotta become Willy Wonka. Willy Wonky. Looks okay. Okay, do something like this. There we go. Now I'm gonna just put a bunch of big rocks up here. Just so I know people will know I'm not messing around. There you go. You think this will get the point across that I'm not messing around? Hopefully it does. There we go. It's coming along quite nicely. Let's do this, though. Let's not put that there. Let's have a one little bit of buffer. That's good. Yeah, pointy rocks. I'm not messing around. Pointy rocks. Now I'm, now I'm serious mode. If a game has pointy rocks in it, you better... You better, uh... You better reconsider. You better think of if you're hardcore enough to even play the game. It's like the Salty Spittoon versus the Weenie Hut Jr. If the game doesn't have pointy rocks in it, it's probably Weenie Hut Jr. If the game has pointy rocks, then we're getting to Salty Spittoon level. And that's where I'm at. Bum, 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 bum. Almost done skis, almost done skis. Done skis. There we go. Our floor is basically donezo. Troy DeFiro, hey, what's up, welcome, how you doing? Super Weenie Hut Jr., yeah, there it is. Super Weenie Hut Jr., or Weenie Hut General, or whatever. Pokemon Rock Edition. So, honestly, would you guys make a game, would you guys play a game that's just Pokemon Bridge, where there's just a crap ton of bridges? Or would you think that's really stupid, and that's a stupid idea? I think it'd be funny to just make mini-joke games, instead of, like, big uh, games that are more serious. Make small joke ones. That's what I need to do, actually. Looking good? Hey, nice, thanks. I'm glad this map is starting to look pretty good. Brock edition. But honestly, that's what I need to do. I think what a lot of people, uh, what, what succeeds a lot is kind of like short but sweet adventures. Stuff that makes you think, you know? That's what, that's what a lot of people like to, like, let's play or whatever. 
ba -ba -da -ba -ba. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good, Toy to Fire, by the way. I'm doing all right. I'm, uh, I'm actually getting close to wrapping up the stream, but I've just been uh, working on this volcano all day. I've worked on one floor, and I'm working on a second floor. And this will be the floor that leads to the summit. I feel like this would be a good floor for a, a rival battle as well, but I'm not going to do that here. Yeah, Pokemon Jeff. Yeah, Pokemon Jeff. I never played it, but I know that it's kind of like uh, got the jokes and the memes. Worlds are floating islands and the bridges. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a great idea. And then the bridges could be the roots. And people fight on the bridges. And then sometimes the bridges break. Oh. That could be the evil team. But now we're starting to get more ambitious. I want to make a stupid joke game, not a serious good game. What are all these good ideas doing in my terrible... In my terrible... Who's coming up with good ideas? Who did that? Was it you? Let's see, did I put this on the third layer? I did. Dang it. I keep doing that to myself. And I hate having to do this. I feel dirty every single time I do this. The old team could be Birdmen. They're like, these humans are colonizing our skies. Get the hell out of here. Get out of my skies. Yeah, no good ideas. <laughs> With a little sea mouth. I like that. And it pulls up a tab that says number one game. Oh, I hate that shit. Like, you have to be really stupid to be like, Boobs! I want to play game! Yeah, you can make a bridge get destroyed. It would just be like, with events and like different maps and stuff. But it is absolutely possible. Absolutely, positively possible. There we go. Put in pointy rocks so that way you know it's very serious. There we go. And now what we can do is get ourselves a nice ladder event. This doesn't need the graphics, so I'll remove it. And this will take you up to the seventh floor. God dang, I got so many floors, it's like getting hard to select them. Six. Where's the seventh one? Where's Mount Fuego seven? right there. What I need to do is make these so these not aren't nested. That's making it just a huge pain for me. Let's see. Three. Checkpoint. Four. Five. Checkpoint two. Six. There it is. Seven. Summit. In that order. Nice. So now the sixth floor should, I mean, it should be easier to select the seventh floor now. There it is. Facing down. Beautiful. And now on the seventh floor, I need to make it so that way there's one of those going down. My buttons. Yeah, they did. Uh, if you're using Dolphin, uh, are you using an official GameCube adapter? Because the official GameCube adapter into Dolphin, it's, like, beautiful. You have to install drivers on your computer so that way it can, like, read the um, official GameCube adapter for the Wii U. But then um, you can just select on Dolphin, you can go to controller and just select I'm using a GameCube controller in slot one. And it like automatically sets it to the default like best settings like so it emulates a GameCube controller perfectly. So you don't even have to map anything. I mean, it's not like mapping is a pain, but yeah, just GameCube into the computer and it's like, Mwah. it's so snazzy. Cool. And then we can make it so that way this connects with our summit. And then our fire mountain will be basically done. Isn't that crazy? I mean, I can add more floors later if need be, if I want to make the mountain longer, but we're at basically at the end of the fire mountain. 
It's kind of depressing, actually, because the Fire Mountain was the one I had the most fun with. So that means the next time I stream, I'm going to be working on the Ice Mountain or the Electric Mountain. Ugh. You know? Ugh. We, nobody wants that. Okay. Paddle th oh my god, the Volcano Erupts. I don't think I'm going to do that. But what we should be able to do now... Okay, let me do a little test. Let's do a little testy poo. A little testy poo poo. Um, I should be able to play through all of Mount Fuego with natural progression now. If there's no bugs. Um, so let me make a new file. And before I end the stream, it's basically time for me to end it. Um, but let me make a new file and try 100% natural progression through all of Mount Fuego's puzzles. And see if we encounter any bugs. Because I think now... It should be good to go. I still need that Sierra Sprite. I'm actually talking to Rowan to fish on a Discord about Sierra Sprite, so we can get that in on the intro eventually, and it'll be nice. Right now it's just Oak talking to us, but we'll uh, we'll change that up a bit. Cool. So uh, after I do this natural progression check, then we'll uh, we'll end it. Yeah, you definitely got to try to break the game. What's my name? My name is obviously uh, Flarpo. Ah, yes, Flarpo. That is me. Dog base? Yeah, it's probably too light. I can make it a little darker so it matches the environment around here. That'll be a quick little change, but I, I actually agree with you there that it's too bright. Electric? Yeah, maybe I'll do electric next so it's out of the way. Ah, uh, drinking that water. Oh. How do you get to type in the name thing? You have to go to your settings script, scroll down all the way to the very bottom of settings, and there'll be a thing that says, like, use uh, text keyboard entry, and you can set that from false to true, and you should be able to just type in your name. These summit trials are going to be a breeze. Okay, see you, Roy. Oh, you sure knows how to make a terrible first impression, huh? My name's Sasha. Pleased to meet you. You seem like a competent trainer, but time will tell, I guess. I definitely think I'll get along better with you than that Roy guy. So anyway, we should get going. I don't really want Roy to get a head start on us because we were standing around. Okay, let's go. Save menu? Yeah, the save menu is black and white UI. Yeah. At least the one that I currently have. I kind of need to edit this dialogue a little bit. Maybe I'll do that off stream. I don't like doing dialogue on stream. Flarpo, you can go first. What? Why does Flarpo get to go first? Because he is the one with the dumbest name. Okay, I choose this one. Vanillite. Ooh. Yes. His name will be, uh... Cremo... Dreamo. Oh. His name will be Cremo. What? Why do I have to go last? First and last impression? <laughs> the Trounza Roy. That'd be great. That's part of the reason why I said the first impression thing. I like that line. Okay. I recommend using that EXP share to help you raise your team. That said, using it's completely optional. Alright, let me quickly break down what the Summit Trials are. It's very simple. On Shred Island, there are three large mountains. You're to scale to the top of the three mountains and defeat the head trainer at the summit. Each of the head trainers will give you a badge. Bring back all three badges. Easy! look down when that appears is that intentional or that's uh something that i did i set a move route at the same time that it appears so i made sure to uh have it sight like that's just me that's just my eventing yo dj charles what's up how you doing speaking of sight yeah they uh they like talk to eat themselves it's kind of bad writing maybe i should make it so that doesn't happen when are we allowed to start you can start now huh I'm out of here. Later, losers. Man, he's so impatient. I'm not going to let that jerk beat me. See you around the island, Flarpo. What a great name. Just stopping by. Well, welcome, man. I'm going to be doing a nice little... You're, you, you picked the right time to come by. Because I'm actually about to end the stream. But before I end it, I'm going to do a quick natural progression check of the Fire Mountain. So, um... I'm just going to... I need to get rid of that trainer there. That's still one in the way. So we got our people running around... Our events are looking pretty decent. There's the first Sasha encounter. There's another trainer. I need to maybe add trainers here too. But um, let's save right here and then let's start 
checking all the puzzles for our Fire Mountain. Hopefully they all work just, ra just right, but if there's bugs, we'll see. And also we'll see if there's anything I want to tweak. If there's anything in the j if there's anything in this mountain I don't like, it's all free to be tweaked. The trees have shading error. They do? Let me look at that real quick. Because these are just the default essentials trees. Are you talking about the stuff underneath them? What's the shit what's the error exactly? I think it looks fine. You're talking about it doesn't have the stuff around it, maybe? Yeah, I'll get around to that a little bit later. What I want to do is check the Fire Mountain first. Types of trees. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. There's the ones that have the stuff around it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a little test. Yeah, thank you for bringing that to my attention. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tweak it potentially if it, uh... Yeah, it's fine, but it's also, like, it's an easy fix. Either way. People with discerning eyes will point it out, you know? Boom. So that first puzzle is very easy. It, it introduces you to the mechanic. TM! And there's gonna be trainers. And that shows you that there's a switch over there. I like this room. I think this room is good. See, like, no matter which way you go, it shows you that there's a switch. I think that's really smart design. And, uh, it's not that I didn't do it intentionally, but it just unintentionally ended up being good design, I feel. Yeah, I like the, I like the design of this floor very, very much. I'm proud of this one. Then again, I did, I did end up tweaking it, like, twice or three times. Yeah, so that's a good floor. The other floors are probably gonna need to be tweaked as well. Third floor. See, look, that in, that goes out of the way to show you that there's a switch there. It's kind of unnecessary, but this one's, like, just a really straightforward floor. Items. And that one also shows you that that one up above got triggered also, so that's kind of cool. But then you go back to go get that item, and then a new path is opened. So that's smart. This one, not maybe not as smart. I don't know. I like it when, if it, like, it, it alerts to the player to the changes that they made in the world. Like, I actually don't like this switch, because it doesn't alert them to the changes that they made. Because that should open this path over here. Yeah. And again. Ah, oh, I do it twice. Mm, that's bad. I think it's bad design when it doesn't show them what they made, to, what changes they made to the world. But basically, I can go up here now. I could hit that, but I don't want to. Doesn't matter. And that brings me all the way back to the beginning, where there was that switch I hit first. And then you're like, huh, what happened? What's different? You can go back. And this is different now. And that opens up two things, I think, when you hit that. That opens up a path over here to an item. And a path... up here to an item. This floor is a bit more convoluted. I don't like it nearly as much. I think the second floor is actually very good design, and this floor is actually kind of crappy design. So maybe I'll tweak it a little later. But there's our first checkpoint. So far, natural progression is working. The best. What's up? Welcome. How you doing, man? I'm about to wrap up the stream, but I'm doing a quick breakdown of the mountain real quick. Maybe I could just get rid of the strength puzzle. Maybe, that, maybe that's something I need to in, uh, implement better in this uh, floor or in this mountain. Strength. Maybe I could put strength puzzles like around here or something. And then there's another instance of me not doing what I like. Typically, I love it when you hit the switch and you see the change from the switch, but there I didn't, so that's bad. I should have made that a, I should have made that a design pillar of mine. Like, make it so that way players can always see the changes when the changes are made. But that, that floor is easy. Now for the fifth floor. This floor is a bit more intense. Try it. Yeah, the, the strength puzzles absolutely have to be correctable if they get messed up. I agree. But this floor, I actually am really proud of. The fifth floor is fun. So, like I said before, those sand tiles are meant to mark trainers. But, uh, yeah, this floor is cool. There's a little puzzle down here where you can get items if you fight more trainers. But the way forward is here. You get this. And you actually can go underneath, and you can see the end from here, which I like. I really like it when you can see the end at an earlier point in the puzzle. That's just another thing I like. Yeah, no encounters? No encounters yet. I 
since I'm still working on the layout of the uh, mountain, I, tur I, I haven't done the encounters. Once I have the layout set in stone, and I don't, I don't want to tweak it anymore, and I don't need to test it anymore, because it's really annoying to test a map while you have wild Pokemon turned on. So there's the way back if you want to go back. And here's the way forward if you want to go forward. Let's see, and then the Roy battle starts here. Yo, Flarpo! I didn't think you would make it this far into Mount Fuego. Not that it matters, though. I'll always be one step ahead. So, I want to test your strength in battle. Let's see what you're made of! That dialogue actually felt okay. I think that dialogue felt okay. Let's see. Tournaments for everything? Ooh, that'd be kind of cool. I'll treat it as a win. Debug cheat to win. Wow! You beat me. Ah, oh, crud. <laughs> Just, you know, default basic stuff. So in general, that's working pretty good. Our Roy event works, and then we can progress. Cool. There's checkpoint two. There's our Nurse Joy. There's going to be grass here. I'm going to need to make a new battle back for the uh, exterior checkpoint battles. And that'll be kind of fun to do. I'll work on that a little bit later, maybe. So now we're on the sixth floor. This is the floor I worked on tonight. Uh, there's two ways forward. I'm going to work on... I'm going to go this way forward. I'm, I tested it already, so I know that they both work, but... This is just to ensure that natural progression is good. I've done a little bit of unnatural stuff. I, uh... What was I going to say? I, uh... Did do some debug to win battles, but... In general, this is checking that natural progression works. And so far, it seems to be working just fine. That text might not be necessary. The secret path is opened. Yeah, this floor is going to be a real, a real pain in the ass, intentionally, because this is going to be basically the final floor. Maybe enable. I actually did do that typical jalapeno. I did enable level scaling for wild Pokemon and trainers. The reason I did that is because I, I knew from the get go that um, I wanted it to be a straightforward adventure with less of a grind. So there's exp alls, there's level scaling. And um, you can go any direction you want from the beginning. So yeah, great minds think alike, you know? And now it takes us to the summit. And then maybe there'll be trainers or something. And then we fight the leader. And then maybe I need to add some sky stuff over there. But yeah, this is the top of the Mount Fuego. Is transferring correct? I think it's good. Let's Let me check. Yeah, it might be one tile ahead. Let's take a look. I think it's good. Yeah, level scaling is basically the Pokemon. Their levels match your level. Yeah. Good eye, though, Typical Jalapeno. Thank you for, uh... Thank you for calling that to my attention. I'm glad that it works, though. There we go. You know how to make so your Pokemon stop leveling at a certain level? Oh, you're talking about, like, the max level? Look at these lava bubbles. Holy crap. Are those all the same bubble? That's too much lava. Let's, uh... Let's tone it down on the lava over here. I mean, I know I like the lava, but... Dang. Okay. Like, wow. It's, like, too much. I put way too much lava over here. I can tone it back a little. There we go. But, uh, yeah... A certain cat by badge. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Make it so that way they stop battling. I mean, stop leveling. I don't know how to do that. The only thing I know is that um, in your settings, you can set, you can change the max level. Maybe look into maximum level and see if that's used somewhere else. Um, let's see. Like in experience, maybe? Make it so that way... Uh, like, if a switch. I don't know, though. You'd have to, like, mess with the way experience gains work in the game if you wanted to do that. Level scaling to Pokemon out evolve. They don't, but there is a way to make it so they do. There is a script to make it so that way it compares the level for level scaling. I actually, my most recent tutorial video, Chiroxy, is on level scaling. You should go check it out. Hey-oh. Um, 
But yeah, uh, to make them auto-evolve, you'd have to uh, make a change to a script. And I haven't set that up yet, but I'm going to be looking into that to make it so that way they will auto-evolve if they meet the threshold. But yeah, um, I said it was going to end at 11.30. It's 11.45 now. I'm going to go to bed early tonight and make sure that I'm uh, well-rested for tomorrow. So thank you, you guys, for hanging out with me tonight. I made some good progress. I think we're basically done with the Fire Mountain now, except for trainers. Maybe next stream I'll do some trainers for the Fire Mountain, as well as set up the wild Pokemon, as well as set up the items, as well as start working on another uh, mountain. But yeah, I think we're uh, making good progress. So thank you once again for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, kisses. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and have a good one. Good night.